Hey guys, welcome to RimWorld, or I should say welcome back to RimWorld, because it's not the first time that we've, uh, we've, we've played this. So uh, yeah, I, this is out on Steam now, so I thought it was about time that we revisited it. So let's jump in and start playing. Um, there's quite a few changes since the last time I played this. The scenario editor is probably the biggest thing. So you, you've got three basic scenarios, but you can edit the scenarios and kind of change them like however you want. I think for this series, we're just going to play like a straight classic RimWorld crash landed. So we start with uh, three survivors. We start with uh, silver, some some packaged survivage, survival meals. God, I can't speak. Uh, a little bit of medicine, uh, some basic weapons, a pet. This is something new. I haven't played with the pets before. And some steel and wood. And the map has got a few bits and pieces scattered over it. A few more meals that we can go and get off and, and, and recover. Right. What are we going to play on? Now, the AI Storyteller, for those of you who don't know RimWorld, the AI Storyteller basically determines at, like how the story plays out. So how often you get events. So the, the classic, Cassandra classic, will give you kind of events every now and then and try and, 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 and ramp up the difficulty over time. Uh, Phoebe Chillax will keep it like longer gaps between events. Randy Random is like random. You get events like, you can have events like back, completely back to back several times. Uh, we are going to go with Cassandra Classic. I, so this is basically a classic playthrough. And we're going to, but you know what, for this one, We'll see how this series goes and see if you guys want more series or what. If we want more series, then we'll ramp up the difficulty. But for this one, we'll just go through on, on, on rough. Now, let me tell you, rough is bad enough, right? If, if, if you haven't played the game a lot, then uh, it's tough. It's a tough game. It's a, there's a very steep learning curve with this game. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create a world. And we'll just, we'll just generate a random world. Take the random seed. Okay, now... You've got everything from being a frozen tundra. Oh, this is the ice sheet. This will be tundra up here, uh, down to uh, deserts and temperate zones. And I don't know, have we got any? Doesn't look like we've got any rainforest. No, we've just got temperate, temperate forest. There's no rainforest on this map. Um, so we are going to go for an, an area that's that's fairly easy, and the easiest area is definitely temperate. We're going to go for a mountainous area, which is indicated by these by, the, by these mountains, and we're also going to go for an area that's got a long growing period. So this is important. Uh, the the shorter your growing period, the more difficult the game is, like markedly so. So we're going to go for somewhere that's got. Like maybe even oh, okay. Well, this has got a year round. Uh, have we got somewhere where it's got like that's eleventh of winter to the first of winter. So there's only eleven days in the year when you can't grow. So that would kind of do. That's first of spring to eleventh of fall. That's a bit too long. That would do. Temperate forest, mountainous, growing period eleventh of winter to the first of winter. Yeah, yeah, that would work. I think we found our spot. Uh, the average temperatures in the winter, uh, 9 degrees centigrade. In the summer, 24 degrees centigrade. So, so yeah, pretty, pretty temperate. It's not going to be too hot and it's not going to be too cold. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we'll select that site. Now we have to select our three starting colonists. Now, it'll, it'll give you three at random. And let's see. So we've got, well, we've got the, we've got somebody 61, uh, incapable of caring and, and social. Somebody is 33, incapable of social. Somebody incapable of firefighting. What you need to do, I mean, it kind of depends how difficult you want the game to be. If you want the game to be really difficult, then like just just take what you're given. Um, if if you but. Some of the combinations of skills can make it almost impossible. Some combinations of skills will make it impossible, let me tell you. Uh, like I said, this game is uh, is can be very, very unforgiving. So what you want, idea, like if you want to make it like easier, 
What you want is um, is three people who can do pretty much anything. So you don't want them, them to, be, to be incapable of at least too much stuff. So you need, for example, some people be, will be incapable of fighting or doing anything violent. Uh, well, you've got to have at least one per person that can fight, otherwise you can't defend yourself. Uh, you may have people who are incapable of um, firefighting or social interaction. You need to have at least one person who can do each thing. Uh, you've then got traits, like for example, this guy loves setting fires, okay? That's gonna make your life pretty damn difficult. Uh, also, neurotic. Now that means that they're, they're gonna be prone to having uh, mental breakdowns. And having mental breakdowns is, is a big issue. Trying to keep your people sane and happy, that's hard, okay? And then over here, you've got the skills. And there are certain skills that you really need. You need at least one person who is good at shooting. Um, a for defense and B for hunting. You need to have uh, somebody who's good with, uh, with medicine, who can act as your doctor. You need to have somebody who's good at cooking. You need to have somebody who's good at growing. You need to have somebody who's good at mining. Well, you really should have one person who's good at mining, even if you're starting on a, on a relatively flat area. Uh, certainly, if you're going to build a mountain base like we are, then you definitely want at least one really good miner. And also, research is important. Uh, now, as well as having a skill level, you've also got these little flames, which increase, uh, these indicate passion for the subject. And uh, one little flame increases their learning by 100%, two increase it by 150%. So what I'm going to do now, because it can take time, to, uh, to go through this and find exactly what you're really looking for. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is injuries. Injuries make a big difference. Now, none of these have got injuries. Okay, scars, for example, hurt. And if they're in pain, it affects their mood. And uh, the worse their mood is, the more likely they are to have a psychotic break. And loads of things detract from their mood. Keeping them happy, at least at the beginning of the game, is pretty damn difficult. So, okay, <laughs> now let me tell you guys, this was this is not the combination of skills or whatever that, and, and attributes that I would necessarily go for. But you'll see when we look at Sky and Nanny, why I've chosen those two characters. Um... The third character that I've gone for is the bloke from the Southwest. Ah, yes. How could we do a series without the bloke from the Southwest? And I thought we'd go for for a, a high social skill, because uh, I like I like staying up all night. I'm a night owl. I like going to the bar all night and drinking and shooting people as well. Um, what's he good at? Like now, I've chosen people that have got no injuries because trust me, they'll pick up injuries as they go along, which is bad enough. So we, were, we won't worry about that. Now, relationships, <laughs> the relationships part will become clear when we get to Sky and Nanny. So we'll come to that in a second. Uh, basically, he's going uh, to be one of our defensive people. You want, you want at least two people that can defend the base. Uh, you want one person who's good, with, uh, at least one person who's good with social skills. Uh, and we've got that. Um, he's kind of, he's going to be the backup doctor which uh, which we kind of need uh, everything he can do everything he's industrious which means he works uh, it works faster works 35% uh, faster which is really good but he is jealous so we've got to be very careful that we don't um, that yeah that we we don't make him jealous so we got to be very careful I have to look after him yes give me a nice bedroom nice bedroom and a bar and I'm happy so, uh, yeah, and he can do some mining. He's got a minor passion for, for mining, so he'll be able to do that. And he can help with hauling, and he can basically do quite a lot of things. He's a, he's a pretty good all-round character. Now let's take a look. Should we look at... Which which, which should we look at first? Should we look at Nanny? <laughs> God. I, seriously, guys, it is a good job that Nanny lives in a different country, because when she sees this, which she will, when she sees this, she, she would freaking kill me. She would get on a train or in a car and she would get to wherever I am and she would kill me. Being in a different country gives me a chance to escape. Here we go. Um, I'm going to get to, you'll see it, but I'm going to get to it in a second. Um, so, now I picked this character 
because this character is a teacher, which Nanny Nanny Giggles um, was a kindergarten teacher. She isn't uh, a- anymore because she's um, she's got a son of her own that she looks after. Um, but um, but yeah, I, I picked it. I thought that's brilliant. And then I saw the relationship that she's got with this character, which I'd already picked as me. And I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't do it. I, I just couldn't leave it alone. She's gonna freaking kill me. Yes, Nanny Giggles and I are lovers. <laughs> oh, the fun we're gonna have with this. Me, Nanny Giggles, and the bloke from the southwest. It's going to be a good series. It might be a very short series, but it's going to be very good. Anyway, she's a fast walker, which she gets from... Like, if you've ever been shopping with Nanny Giggles, she's a very fast walker. So that's, like, totally appropriate. Neurotic, totally freaking neurotic. Uh, she likes to have things squared away. She's a very hard worker. But her nerves can get the better of her, I've got to say. Uh, and again, like, having a neurotic character, like, th- that isn't, like, the best thing to have, because there's a chance of a mental breakdown. <laughs> God, I love this. Um, now, she, her uh, shooting is terrible, right? And she doesn't have a passion for it, so, so um, but she can shoot. She's not incapable of, of shooting, so... Uh, maybe later on we'll give her a gun, but I think it's going to be me and the, me and the bloke from the southwest defending the base. Um, social skills are okay. Uh, she doesn't have a passion for it. Uh, and the rest of the skills, she's going to be the one that's going to be growing our food. She's going to be out in the garden growing the food. Excellent. She could do a bit of mining, and uh, she's good with the research, which will be useful. And then let's take a look at me. Uh, I am the brigand. Of course I am. I'm the, uh, I'm the, I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm casting myself as the Han Solo type. What can I say? Uh, I was a stable boy. I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> Apparently, I, I was a stable boy, and I ran away. I spent my life mucking dung. <laughs> oh, Nanny Giggles gets her revenge. Oh, I spent my life shoveling shit. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but I ran away and became a brigand. Oh my god. I, I even have my own ship called the Dung Mucker. The Dung Mucker 2000. <laughs> oh, this, seriously, this is going to be a good series. I am incapable of um, being social, apparently. That's according to Nanny Giggles. Uh, but I am a careful shooter, which gives me a 50% shooting accuracy, and I've got decent shooting and a passion for it. Ha <laughs> ha I'm a bit of a psycho. What can I say? Um, I also like, this is where, this is why Nanny Giggles and I uh, became lovers, because um, we like gardening. Okay, whatever. I've got a a passion for gardening. But apparently, that, see, that says I've got a passion for gardening, but it doesn't actually give you a passion for it. So, it should really, that should give you actually at least a minor passion for it, you would think, wouldn't you? Anyway, I'm going to be doing the the cooking. I've got a, a strong passion for it, burning passion for cooking. Uh, hopefully, we'll get that up to six fairly soon, so that I can cook fine meals. Uh, yeah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one that's even close to level six. Uh, we could do with getting that up fairly good. So I'll be doing all the cooking. Uh, yeah, construction's okay. Uh, mining, and he's got a passion for mining as well. So I think, like all round. Um, the, the the single biggest problem will be if I die. The reason for that, if I die, right? You see this that the, um, Nanny Giggles and I get a get a bonus uh, because we we like each other a lot, right? The problem is if either of us dies, and let's face it, I'm going to be the one out shooting people and getting shot. If I die, that will have a massive impact on Nanny Giggles' mood. And bearing in mind she's already neurotic, she will go absolutely batshit insane and probably go berserk and, ma- and murder the bloke from the southwest. So there you go. Uh, this should be fun. Should we start? Let's get going. Okay, so the three of us wake up in our cl- cryo sleep soft coffer guy to the sound of sirens. Basically, our ship's going to crash. Should we watch it crash? And there come our cryopods, and we're out. Now, the first thing you want to do is hit the space bar because there's a lot of stuff to set up. So, the first thing we're going to do is have a little bit of a look around and figure out where we're going to have our base. Now, 
Choosing the, the location of your base is a fairly big deal. And I'm looking at this and I'm already thinking, okay, not so great. The other thing that I completely forgot to do was increase the freaking map size, which is unbelievable. But you know what? We've got a big area down here. We can build a big mountain base. Um, this is big enough for a growing area. Like Now, in terms of choke points, um, defensively, you want to be able to set up defensive areas. Now, now they can come on from there. I mean, they're, they're either going to come through here or come through here. Now, initially, we could set up some kind of defense here, which would cover both sides. And then we'll have kind of the entrance to our base down here, I guess. I think that's what we're going to do. Well, that's what we're going to have to do. Like, I've got to say, this is not absolutely staggeringly ideal. And I really wish that I'd chosen a slightly bigger map. Bonehead. But I can't, like, I can't, now we've got the, the Sky and Nanny thing going on. I've got, I'm going to have to live with it, so. All right. Um, okay, so the next thing I need to do, then, is to plan out a base. So let me get on and actually, like, plan it out. Now, the way you plan it out is you go to um, uh, Architect and uh, Orders, and then you can kind of, like, design, like, how you want to, like, dig stuff or... or build walls or build buildings or whatever so I'm, I'm gonna lay out what I want for a base and then I'll come back and I'll kind of show you what I've designed okay so I've um, I've chosen <clears throat> this area down here for our base <clears throat> so we landed here but we're, we're gonna actually set up down here now because I looked at this and we've got this is a this is a marble wall here and then we go we've got this kind of natural area in here which um, could work. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at it again now, and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe not. I go, I, you know what? I'm going to make a little change. I'm going to make a little change. So we'll actually have a door there and a door there, and we won't have this in actual fact. So yeah, we'll actually we'll actually get rid of this wall. So we'll deconstruct this wall. And what we're going to do, I think, yeah. Um, the way we're going to start this off, because mining takes uh, like quite a long time. Uh, and I'm, I'm concerned about this little area here, because this may open up. So I think we're going to work on this area over here. Now, OK, let me tell you what we're, what we're going to have. This is going to be our refrigerated storage area. And that's why we've got this little access to the outside. There's going to be an AC unit in here to cool this down. Then we're going to have a bit of an airlock here. This is going to be the kitchen and the dining room. And then uh, and there's, it's going to have its, its own door into that area. Although I, I might put a door through here as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Then um, this will go through. This will be like a, a recreation room where they can all hang out. And that's why it's a bit bigger. It's nine by nine. And then you've got a bunch of six by six rooms that will be used for bedrooms, uh, a medical room, room for prisoners. So we've got, we've got four marked out up there, four marked out down here with obviously room for like loads and loads of development. Now, this is just marked out. It's not actually scheduled for mining. Uh, we'll get to that. Now, uh, there are other resources that we need to look for. One, the most important one probably is steel. And I've been having a look around. And um, I did find some jade over here, which is pretty rare. Um, now, this over here, this kind of like where it's dotted, uh, this is uh, compacted steel. So we'll want to get to uh, mining that ASAP. But looking around the rest of the map, there really isn't any steel anywhere that I can find. And I've had a pretty good look around. Now, this is slate over here. Uh, no, no steel. This is all slate around here. 
this is all slate around here. So yeah, there really isn't a lot of uh, of steel. There is a bit of steel up here, which we'll uh, we'll definitely get to. But you look around the rest of the map, and there really isn't a whole lot of anything. So oh, there is a little bit over here. I hadn't seen that. And then if we go up here, there's like one square there, and that's it. That's that's. That's all the steel. Now, as we dig into the mountains, we may find more steel, but we'll kind of see. Right. Um, let's get going. Let's get going. So we want to mark out some areas where we where we put our stuff. Okay. So let's start there. So let's go to zoning. We need somewhere to. Uh, whoops. We need somewhere to dump the the good stuff that we want, and somewhere to dump the bad stuff that we don't want. So we're going to put in a stockpile for the good stuff. Uh, now, eventually we want to move this indoors, which is what this refrigerated area is going to be for. Uh, but for now, we'll dump it there. So that's going to be, that's going to be our dumping ground. Uh, as soon as possible, we want to get our food indoors because it spoils. In fact, anything apart from like, like steel and minerals... Uh, will spoil out even even wood will degrade over time but it's not like it's not like desperate where are we gonna dump our stuff well we want it kind of not too far away but kind of a little bit out of the way so I think we'll put a, a dumping ground yeah that's that's big enough for a dumping ground probably for now yeah no we'll make it we'll make it a little bit bigger we'll make it a little bit bigger so let's dump it anywhere in there we'll do we can always extend these if we want to. Uh, now, we do have a steam geyser up here. So later on, we can get geothermal power, which would be kind of handy. Right. We need to mark out some uh, some growing areas because we want to grow some food. Now, where did I go up to? I went up to here, didn't I? So we'll, we'll do our growing areas up here. So let's have... Uh, let's start... Let's start there. So we'll have um, a 4x6 and another 4x6 and another 4x6. So we're putting in three 4x6 areas. And I've got to say, they are quite difficult to see. Can you see that that's slightly purple, this one? And this is slightly green. And this one's like slightly orange. But man, you've kind of got to know where they are. Because like, like if, if you didn't know they were there... They're kind of hard to spot. Well, that one's not too difficult to spot, but the others are. Okay, so what we're going to do, this one, they default to planting potatoes. What we're going to do is plant up three different crops. So this one we're going to set to so we've got plant potatoes, corn, and this one we'll set to rice, which are the, those are the kind of like the, th the three staples. The reason for setting up three uh, with different crops is because they grow at different rates. So it, we will, we'll have them coming in at different rates, uh, which will be handy throughout our growing system season. Right, so we've put those in. Uh, next, what are we going to do next? Oh, now, we put in a, like a generic dumping zone. I am also going to put in a specific dumping zone somewhere out of the way, somewhere where we're not going to see it. So I think maybe just like round the corner here would do. And it's only going to... Oh, mind you, no. That's no good because that's where we're going to be mining the steel. So it's going to have to be round here. So I'm just going to put in a, a little dumping ground here. And I'm going to set this up. This is going to be the dumping ground. So I'm going to clear everything. And I'm just going to set it up for human corpses. So this is where we're going to dump human corpses. And the reason for keeping them out of the way is that, that people get... Their mood goes down when they see corpses. Um, so you want to keep them kind of out of the way if you can. All right? And then over here, this um, this dumping ground here, we'll say we'll take everything except human corpses. So that means that the human corpses won't get dumped here. They'll get dumped over there. Cool. All the stuff that's coming in at the moment, we'll dump here for now. But like I said, we're going to be moving certainly the food indoors first. And we'll probably extend this and put in another AC unit. Um, an AC unit will only cool down like a, a like like a 7x7 seven seven area. 
Okay, that's that. Next, <laughs> we need to designate uh, what our guys are going to pick up. Now, all all this stuff with marked with red X's, this all came down with us, um, all got knocked down. Like I always think that the 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 wood that's lying around, those are trees that got knocked down by wreckage from our falling falling spaceship. Uh, but we've got things like these are uh, meals, package survival meals, and then we've got a weapon. You always get, if you play the standard, you always get a rifle, a pistol, and a shiv. Where's the shiv? There it is. A plasteel knife. And then you get some uh, some junk, which is this um, steel slag. This is the steel. Oh, that's, that's silver. So we get, uh, there's the 800 silver. And then these are our piles of steel. So what we want to do, double click on these. Let's zoom out a little bit so we get everything. So double click on these, and they're currently, the red X means they're forbidden, which means our people won't pick them up. We want them to pick them up. And then we want to arm our people. Uh, let's, uh, let's unforbid these. We'll unforbid this, uh, the wood. The, uh, unforbid the silver. Oh, we've got medical supplies. We'll unforbid that. And that's pretty much everything that we want. We need to arm our people. So, I am having the rifle. Because I am. And that's all there is to it. Let's just check. I've got nine skill with shooting. He's got nine skill with shooting. So, it kind of doesn't matter who has which. So, I'll equip the survival rifle. The bloke from the southwest will equip, equip the pistol. Cool. All right, and then uh, Nanny giggles. She can have the she can have the knife because because she's a vicious psychopath. No, she's not. She's lovely. She's absolutely lovely. Right. <laughs> okay. So our guys are going to get on and pick that stuff and put them down here. Now we've also got a pet. Oh yeah, we've got a cat called Chaos. <laughs> oh, awesome. We've got a cat called Chaos. That is sweet. Uh, we can, I think, now, like, set them off. So, they are going to, like, run around, pick up the weapons, and then start shipping stuff. Uh, but one thing we'll do first, I was going to kind of let them do stuff, but I just want to check. Right, they, um, they're all set that they can haul, they can all set that they can clean, etc, etc. Now, you can change the priorities to manual, and I think we are actually going to do that. Sometimes I just leave it kind of as it is and just switch on what they can or can't do. But I think we will actually, I think we will actually switch on the prior, the manual priorities. So let's see. I want to get them mining ASAP. So we'll say, we'll up the priority on me mining because I want to get that going straight away. And the first thing I'm going to do, am I going to dig down here to see what this is? Because if this opens up, it could change the way we actually dig the base out. Oh, dear. No, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. So, we're going to go... Let's see. Orders, mine, and... Uh, it's, it's seriously tempting to go down here and do this. We, uh, we want to get the, the bedroom going as soon as possible. So we're going to mine down to there. And then we're going to mine this room here. Now, <clears throat> the problem is it's going to take probably more than the first day to get that mined out. And we don't want them sleeping outdoors overnight because um, it'll upset their mood. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at Sky's mood. So if we look at his needs. You can see that right now he's got lots of greens. <laughs> he wants to sleep with Nanny though. <laughs> oh, Nanny's probably going to be annoyed by that, but probably not as annoyed by she wants to sleep with me. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh dear, the suffering I'm going to have. Oh dear, she's going to be so vindictive now. Uh, anyway. The point is that we'll start to see lots more negative negatives appearing because they don't like the environment. They think it's ugly um, because they've 
like what they're eating or that they can't eat off a table they're eating on the floor so there's lots of stuff that we need to t need to take care of and one of the things that they don't like they don't like sleeping on the ground they don't like sleeping outdoors so what we're gonna do because I don't think we're gonna be able to mine that out in time I don't know I don't know oh you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna chance it that's great I'm gonna chance it what the hell so I've I've prioritised Sky's work so that he's um, he's mining, okay. And I, am I going to prioritise somebody else? I'm kind of tempted, kind of tempted. Now, Nanny, we want Nanny probably working on the uh, on the food. So let's go to where are we? Uh, growing. Here we go. So let's increase her priority to two. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not increasing these to ones. <laughs> I don't know whether the game has changed with Alpha 14 because we're running on Alpha 14 now. I don't think it has. Um, if you if you have priority one, it's basically like they will do it to the exclusion of all else, including their own basic survival needs. Like, even though they're desperate for sleep and all the rest of it, they will work, literally, and, and just, they, they just exclude everything else. So I think, um, unless there's anything, like, desperate, we'll, uh, we'll keep them on twos. Now, is Sky mining? Yes. Sky is mining. He's hauling, which is good. And they can all haul, which is excellent. Nanny's planting up. She's already working on the second one. That's really good. This guy's digging his way through here. You know what? I'm going to get the bloke from the southwest. Uh, I'm going to up his mining to two. And I'm going to get him to dig down here, I think. So, bloke from the southwest. Dig down there. I want to see whether this opens up. Going to be interesting. Where's the bloke from the southwest? Oh, he's... He's hauling stuff. Come on, get a move on. Now we can speed this up um, to either times two or times three. Here he goes, the bloke from the southwest. He's going to come down here and get on with this. Now, what I was thinking of doing, I, I could have erected a building outside, which is much, much quicker. But I think probably, I'll just speed it up to times two. I think it's... Um, it's worth taking a bit of a chance and see if we can uh, see if we can get this done. It is a long way in, though. Now there's the cat, the freaking useless cat. <laughs> Thank you so much, cat, for being totally useless. Right, come on, bloke from the southwest. Let's, let's speed this up a little bit more till we get into this. Ah, now, okay, let's pause, cause that changes things like quite dramatically and that's going to open out into there as well hmm Ooh, yeah, yeah 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 now what we could do is put a wall down here to fill this in and it means we've got a lot of these areas already dug out which would be very freaking helpful so I think that's exactly what we're going to take advantage of. That is a like a real bonus. Okay, uh, we're going to set. I want to mine this because this is obviously open here. So let's mine that, and we'll cancel that. We're not going to carry on digging that way for now. So what do we want to mine out? We want to mine out this room then. And, yeah, that's going to be the initial fire, because we're going to need to mine, uh, yeah, because the, the wall's actually going to be there. So we need to mine that. And ultimately, we're going to need to mine that as well. We don't need to do that now. So then we need to put the, the walls in. So let's go to, um, to structure and walls. And we'll just use wooden walls for now. That will do fine. So we'll have a wooden wall going up there, wooden wall going up there, 
We'll have a wooden wall there. Now we're going to need to blo block this off, I guess. Oh, now I've marked that to be mined. Uh, should I see? I, I guess I should see whether that opens up or not, but... No, you know what? Let's not mine that. And uh, yes, we will put the wall in there. So we'll put a wall in there. We won't mine that. So we will, let's see, go to orders and cancel that. Okay, right. Let's let them carry on then. Now, the bloke from the southwest is uh, getting something to eat. Ooh, I'm, oh, we're all getting something to eat. We're all hungry. It's lunchtime, obviously. Now, we've got... You'll, you'll notice when I, when I put those walls in that it said we've got no wood stored. Um, it doesn't count wood that's not on your stockpile. So, I think we need to get Nanny Giggles prioritised to, uh, to haul stuff around. So, I'm going to set Nanny to prioritise hauling. Now, she has, at the moment, got to finish the... The planting, so she'll she'll prioritise the planting, the growing, uh, over the hauling. But she's almost finished. She's done this one and this one, so she's just got to finish off this area, and then she can start hauling stuff around. Right. Meanwhile, we're getting to work on mining out this room, which is awesome source. Now we uh, we need to put a door on this room, so let's get uh, let's see furniture. Oh, sorry, no structures and door. So we want a door to go in there, and then we're going to be putting in some beds. Now I I think what I'm going to do I'm going to stop them. Oops, I'm going to stop them from doing that bit yet. So I want them to just focus on this. Now that'll make this a small room. Room. We'll talk more about room size later. Uh, but the reason that I've marked these as six by six rooms is to get the um, the bonus for for having more space, having larger rooms. It improves their mood. Let's pause this for a second and just see that. Let's look at the the mood of people at the moment. So, see here you go. We ate without a table. Had to eat off the floor. Not happy about that. Ugly environment. Not happy about that. What about Nanny? What's Nanny? Yeah, Nanny ate without a, uh, a table. But she's outside, so she, the, the environment is, is okay. In here, where we've got all this rubbish lying on the round on the floor and stuff, it's very ugly. And let's see. Bloke from the southwest. Oh, he's feeling terrible. Oh, and he's working in the daytime, which is going to really annoy him. So his mood isn't going to be good. Ooh, we're going to have to look after him. Big time. These guys really need... Let's, let's get it running again. We really need to get these guys some beds. Okay. Let's get it Let's get it done, shall we? So, oh, that's a sleeping spot. We just want... We actually want real proper beds. So, let's spin this around. And we want it that way. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three beds in this one room, which they won't like, but it's better than sleeping outside on the ground. They'll like that even less. Oh, where are you off to now? What the hell are you going over there for? Where's he going? Oh, he's, he's gone to get the silver. Why the hell are you going to get that? Okay, that doesn't... That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, because they finished the mining. Oh, no, they haven't. They, they've still got to mine this. Okay. Well, let's um, let's put the beds in. One, two, three. There we go. So they've got their beds. All we've got to do is like build stuff. So let's go to work. Let's prioritize uh, construction for Sky. So he can start building these walls and stuff. Now, who else can construct? These two, and they're both two, which is not fantastic. Um, let's prioritise the bloke from the southwest, because we want to 
we just want to get this done ASAP now they're knocking those down at the moment which isn't actually a particularly useful thing so I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that one oh the cat's getting in the way now go away cat the only good thing is we get these marble blocks which can be useful we can use them for things like um, marble flooring and stuff, which makes the place look more beautiful. Right, we've got some wood now, now that Nanny Giggles has started hauling it onto our stockpile. So now they will start constructing the walls, constructing the door, and constructing the beds. And it's all about trying to get to... Oh, it's getting dark. They're going to be getting tired. It's all about trying to get them... A nice room indoors. Now, why haven't those been mined out? Did I not mark them to be mined out? I, obviously, I didn't. So we need to mark those. Here we go. This guy's getting this done. So you'll do those. We've already got the door. Right. Then, what are you going to work on? What are you work? What are you? Where are you going now? Where's Nanny Giggles? Oh, Nanny Giggles is going to haul. We've still got wood. Ah, oh, they were they were going to get materials. Now I've put in um, steel beds, which will. Oh, they're putting the roof on the room. Good, 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 good. Okay, we've got two beds. Looks like pretty soon we'll have three. Come on, come on, get it finished. If we can get our, our room and our three beds done, yes. Now they're going to finish mining these three. Right, that really is the target for the first day. Uh, for me, anyway. Is to, uh, you know, plant the crops up and get this room mined out and get their beds done. That is, that's quite good news. Where's Nanny? Is Nanny still hauling? Yep, yeah, Nanny's still hauling logs. God, it's a hard life. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Nanny. Oh, we've got 30 components as well. I didn't notice those. We'll, uh, is there any more? No, it's just a, right, we'll unforbid that. Cool. Right, so, they're yeah, going off to haul more materials. There's still wood and steel that needs to be brought in. What am I doing? Oh, I've gone to bed. I've said screw it. <laughs> I've said screw it. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Yay, well, good for me. Let them work. I'm exhausted. But I've, I've been, I did most of the mining. Come on. It's fair, dude. <laughs>